Hi guys, today we're going to be going through where all the lab's key cards are to be found on all the various maps. We're going to start with Violet, which is on Woods, and there is three different spawn locations. So let's uh, go have a look at them. Right, so I'm near one of the common spawns, which you can spawn there. You can also spawn here and here on the side of the map. Over there is Scab House. What we're going to do is head to Checkpoint over here. We're at checkpoint. There is another little key location in there which we'll cover later in a different video. The key we're after today is the Violet Labs card which spawns on this car seat just here. Not here today, but that's where it spawns where my lasers are. So, on to the next. Okay, so the next two uh, Violet key spawn locations are based in the lumber mill here. This is often called Big Blue or Grey, depending on uh, settings, whatever, just different colours to people. But the first of the two locations here in Lumber Mill is right here on this tailgate. It's literally right there. For some reason, I can't even make a bullet hole there. Okay, and the other location for it is over the other side of Lumber Mill towards the water. In this little shack ahead of me. So if you're checking both of these in the same run, you've got to be careful as you uh, cross the open. I wouldn't recommend running straight through the middle like I've just done because you are prime target for people up on uh, Sniper Rock up there. And also you can be seen from all the way over on Spine over there. So the other key location is right here on the desk. Like there. So if it's here, that's where you'll find it. Okay, moving on to the next key, as that's all the spawn locations for Violet in the game. Okay, so the next key we are going to be looking for is the blue key for Labs Access, which is the quarantine key, which is a nice little place to top up on some spare meds. We're heading into the west wing of uh, resort right now. And there is two locations inside and one location outside. The first location inside is room 104, just here. I'll cover the location to find the 104 key in a future video. And it will spawn just here on the desk here. Sometimes you get debated by some dollars being there, it's not here today. The next uh, location key is just down the corridor here uh, in room 12. Which I will also cover the location for the key in the next video. Blue key will spawn somewhere on here, norm normally on this corner here. The other location for the key is just outside the door here. See an ambulance over here. It is located just here in the footwell of the ambulance. If you're lucky, when you're on Death Bridge up there, you can sometimes see whether it's spawned as you run across, depending on your game settings, LOD, or that sort of stuff. Whether the item will render in at that distance. So, on to the next key. Okay guys, we are now on the hunt for the red key card, which opens up the arsenal door. It is the most expensive item, expensive key in the game, which I don't believe is actually worth the money. Because you'd literally need to find it week one and raid labs every single day to make up the money for it. Because it's definitely not worth the 30 odd million it goes for right now. So we're going back in through the hole in uh, West Wing. Heading up to second floor. What we want is in room 218. Which you can get access to through either 222, 221 or 218. 
all the keys are worth about the same. They were a triple room. So it's big value key anyway, just for the sheer amount of loot you'll get. So there is a rendering bug for the loot on these boxes. When you get too close to it, they disappear. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, is that the key, red key, spawns right there. That's what we're looking for. Right. The next spawn location for it is also in West Wing. And this is the one commonly known by everyone. So uh, it is the one you'll find it least frequently in. Not that you'll find it frequently in any key location. Because it's uh, such a sought after key that everyone normally bum rushes it and goes straight for it. So the easiest way to find this one is come out to the back of the uh, resort here. And the tennis court side, you want to go in this please. We go in this door and we want to go down into the basement. Down here in the gym is where this key used to spawn. The old spawn was here on this chair. Sometimes it was glitched and floating up there. The red key card spawns on this shelf here. Just where my lasers are pointing. Right. The next location is over in East. Okay, so the last red keycard spawn location is in East. So there's our old friend the ambulance with the blue and the fire truck. We're going to head in this door. What we want to do is come around here, head upstairs, and this way. And yes, here it is. What we need to do is head into 218. This is the spawn location that you do not need a key for. 218 is always open. Always open. So you want to head through here, out to the balcony and back into here. And the red key card spawns in this lovely patch of blood right here next to the laptop. And that concludes where all the red key cards spawn. Okay, so now we're on the hunt for the green lab card. You'll start with green because you need it to be able to find one of the others. So, you've got spawn here which is called Courtyard, you've got S-Ben there, you've got Dorms, and there is Arsenal which is the location of the first green key card spawn. Which you do not need the Arsenal key to be able to get into. The spawn for the green key is right here between these two folders. That's where it spawns. You can also find some other rare loot around here, like uh, Intelligence Folder spawns there, P7 sometimes spawns there, but we're here for the green keycard. Next location for it is the manager's office, which the quickest way to get to is just to run straight across here. And we're at the bridge to manager's office. Managers is a very risky place to come loot. I would recommend coming here towards the end of a raid once you know you've cleared out the, um, the majority of the players and you are between raider spawn waves. But the green key card spawns just here to the left of this book. The final green key card location is in the medlock, which is the opposite side from here. We're going to run around this way. actually just outside one of the other lockable locations. Lockable, unlockable locations. It's located just outside the dorms, uh, not dorms, quarantine uh, uh, blue keycard door. So you want to head down to second level of medical into quarantine. The green key card spawns on this desk just here. And that concludes the green locations. Okay, so the next one we're looking for is the black labs card, which lets you into what's commonly known as the porn room see why when we get there but it's actually just the medical testing so 
we're going to run from the spawn, we're going to head to dome area. There is two spawns here around dome. That is the dome right there. We want the table closest to it and it spawns just here to the right of these two spherical um, uh, bottle things. Just on the table here. And the other spawn location for it is just here next to the phone directly opposite dome. You're going to have to be careful getting this one or that one because people rush this right at the beginning of the game because you have Ledex spawns just in and around here. In fact, I'm fairly certain there's a Ledex spawn chance on most of these barrels. Right, is that? Yeah, there's one. <laughs> Same I won't get to keep that as we're in offline. Okay, the final um, uh, green key, uh, green, uh, black key card spawn is actually in med, med block 2 aka green room. So we want to come to green room, use our green card which we have previously found. in and just around the corner here next to the keyboard right there is where you will find the last black keycard spawn. So that concludes the black keycard moving on to the next. Okay the last keycard is arguably the least valuable there is no loot to be had in there, but it is very practical to have from a uh, tactical standpoint, and I'll show you why after we've got it. The first location for it is here on this middle table, after the yellow key card, which opens the... Uh, 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 God, what's, what do you call it? It's like the security post. Uh, no, alarm, alarm. That's what it's called, it's called alarm. That uncom is that uncommonly sought after? I forgot the name for a second. Second location for it, also over here in managers, <laughs> is on the desk here next to this laptop. So is that actually it? It's just a uh, decoration. down here. The final location for it is on this table right here. So that is all three spawns for the alarm key. And I will now show you the use of alarm key. If I can remember which way it is. Don't play labs that often, disclaimer. Okay. So this is alarm is on uh, the far right side of, of uh, parking and its main practical application is that it gives you a really good line of sight on S-Bend. If you've got players camping in S-Bend, it's a really good position to be able to get some shots in from an elevated position where you have some hard cover to duck behind. I wouldn't recommend trying to take the raiders on from up here because they will literally clip you in the head and that's all she wrote. Goodbye to your 160k lab card, spent to get in and to the lobby. There is very little loot in here although there is a very rare chance that in this cage there is sometimes a chance for an M4 to be spawning in here propped up. And that concludes all of the actual card keys. We are now moving on to the mechanical keys left for labs. Okay, so now we're on to the mechanical keys. The first one we're going to look for is weapons testing. Weapons testing is a good little key. It uh, has all sorts of lovely little mods in there. First spawn location is right here on the shelves. Hard to see as it kind of blends in, but scroll over it and your attention will find it for you. Second location for it is over in servers. I just 
just realised the third location is actually closer. So we're heading into server office and the weapons testing key spawns right here between the plant and the red folder. Come on Fassy, get your stamina back up so I can run back. The final location of the weapons testing key is downstairs in the gym, which obviously my character needs to make use of as he is out of breath running across just uh, a single corridor. And the key is on, oh, which one is it, yeah, it's this one. He spawns on this stool here. This is where you'll find the last weapons testing key. Now we are looking for the manager's office key. There is very good loot in manager's office. In fact, it's often better loot than uh, you can get in Arsenal, especially if you're running Arsenal as a group because there doesn't tend to be much to go around. We'll just come out here into the courtyard and we're heading into here into the conference room. There is a powered laptop up here and it spawns to one of the sides of this laptop. Uh, the next spawn location is uh, this one in parking. We want offices. one and two, we have to come down to here, break the glass, and the key spawns right here underneath this lamp. The final key location is out in parking, we'll just cut through opposite S here, come out opposite S bend, there is S bend, we want to come to this black SUV in the middle of parking, he spawns right here on the passenger seat of this black SUV. And that is all the manager's office uh, key location. Okay, so the final key for labs that we're looking for is the uh, storage, ca uh, storage cage key for Arsenal. Red key lets you in, but then you've also got that storage gate inside, which has all the extra good loot on the shelving in there. Which is, this is what the key that unlocks that is. So you want to be on customs, and we're at the power pylon up here, up in the uh, middle of the new area. And in this shack here, just around the corner, on this chair here, that is where you'll find first key spawn. The next key spawn is actually very very close. We want to head down here across the high uh, sniper rocks up here and head down into new gas. Fortunately all these keys for this, uh, this room are in a very high traffic area. Especially this one being an abs this key being an absolute pain, as two of the key locations are in scav boss uh, patrol areas. This is where you'll find the second weapons testing key spawn. It's right here on the counter. Final key location is all the way over dorms. So the final key location is over here in dorms. We want to head into third story, uh, three story dorms, and we need to go to the second story. That slide to a halt um, glitch has to be sometime in the stream. I didn't let up on my shift button. 
So we're looking for 215. It's always open. Hard to tell because it's missing the 5 off it, but that's 19 and that's 13. And just here, on this little shelf here, is where you'll find the last uh, weapons testing. Not weapons testing. Uh, last of storage key form. And that concludes the lab's key guide. I uh, will warn you now, guys. Do not spend your time key running. Not worth it. You could go the entire wipe about finding some of these keys and you'll just have wasted wasted your time if that's what you're coming in here specifically to do. What I'm encouraging you to do is if you are passing these locations, then, then you go and check them. I have never uh, specifically gone and looked for a key as my sole purpose of a raid. Yet I have found many of these rare keys throughout uh, throughout this patch just because I happen to be passing and need to look. The best way to go about it stops you getting frustrated and stops you wasting time which you could be um, spending on doing your tasks and levelling up and getting in some um, decent PvP fights. So, hope you, hope you find this useful and I will see you guys in the next video.